Hi there, I'm Strawberry Milk Simmer, and I'm making my favorite challenge, the Black Widow Challenge, in 2022. Is it too late? Is the trend dead? Yes. I'm also holding a mic, which is making this 10 times more anxious for me. Can you tell? Totally, you could tell. But that's okay, because I'm doing it. So, I'm going to assume that in the year 2022, you're going to know a lot about the Black Widow Challenge. And if you don't, practically, is where people take a sim, primarily a woman, and they have her uh, get multiple husbands. But the thing is, she has to be caught cheating, and she has to kill the other husband, get with the new guy, and then rinse and repeat. And in The Sims 2, this was until she was killed by a ghost, until The Sims uh, 3, I think you do it until you're like caught, you're an elder. Something among those lines. In The Sims 4, uh, with the extreme violence mod, you can get caught for murder. I'm gonna assume that's where you get caught. Haven't seen anyone playing The Sims 4 getting caught or really having an ending. They just kind of ended where they think that the story has concluded. Um, I'm gonna make mine very story based. Um, there's not gonna be a lot of wandering around. I'm gonna have a pretty concrete idea of what's gonna be happening. I feel like that's the best you can do in the climate of Let's Plays in 2022 because people don't wanna watch a 60 episode series much anymore that's 40 minutes long each episode. People like more compact story driven or densely story driven stories, which I can honestly agree with and I can understand why episodic Let's Plays can become quite tiresome. So, I'm gonna get right into the meat. This is Niles Clausen. I think he looks very cute. He will be our Black Widow. Slow turn. This will be his everyday wear. I think the sweater is a nice touch. We're gonna do a quick zoom in. I had a horrible freeze. I'm sure I did nothing for you. I think he looks cute. I actually feel kind of proud of this sim. And then we're gonna do the side profile. Um, I think he looks quite nice. I think it'll be a nice black widow. I wanted to kind of do like something a little different. I noticed that a lot of people use like, like female sims or female presenting sims for their black widow. And I just feel like, you know, if you want to break the mold, do it by the most surface level, which is making a man. And this man actually, I have made a trans man. I guess you can't exactly make him a trans man in The Sims. You can just say he is, and then put his settings as, uh, oh well, it won't show me. But uh, he can get pregnant and he pees sitting down, which of course is go for every trans person, but it's the best I personally can do. And I wanna say that even though I'm making this trans character a very bad person. I want to remind everyone that trans people are one, deserve respect, and two, are just actual people. And you'll find good people and bad people. And if you want to just meet one bad person and then be transphobic, I want to remind you that's not being an ally, that's being a bad person. Um, I'm not the most knowledgeable in this area. If I get anything wrong, I am more than happy to. Uh, receive constructive criticism. I understand that asking for emotional labor is a lot because trans people spend most of their lives having to give emotional labor of explaining their entire existence. Um, but if you want to give me any points that I might uh, misinterpret about the trans community, I am more than happy to um, remedy that the best I can. I well, a cis woman can't really speak on the trans man experience. I do watch plenty of uh, trans YouTubers that I kind of base this character off of. And um, I would recommend you watch them just because they're just really enjoyable YouTubers. And I really recommend everyone watch them like uh, Cops Hey Moy, Sam Collins. I really like Kate Blake. I love Ashton Daniels, uh, Gemma Dauber, Gemma Dodger, Gemma Dodger, he never says his name in the beginning of the videos, he might, but like I turn him on and then like I'll eat dinner, 
so like he's kind of like really great background noise and then samantha lux these are all really great people that i recommend watching especially if you want to find some nice trans youtubers um if you like their content you might also like my content so there we go <laughs> now once we got that out of the way i just want to start um in this episode i just kind of want to like go over his outfits and go over uh, his general backstory and just talk about like what makes niles clausen niles clausen uh this is gonna be his formal wear and then i also have a second one that's gonna be his wedding wear i'm gonna definitely change that that's just what i have right now um here is his uh sportswear obviously he has an affinity for pink and he likes more looser clothes he's like he's um still struggling with body dysmorphia and body issues uh, he's very early into his journey he has yet to have uh the the top surgery or the bottom surgery um he just he knows who he was he knows who he is this is his sleepwear, very cozy, very comfy. Uh, here is his party wear. He's coming for a fun time. He has an affinity for sweaters also. He likes nice loose sweaters, like me. Uh, here is his swimwear with a binder. I, I don't know if you can get binders wet. I do know though, I wanted, I don't want to like queer bait, which seems pretty terrible. So I'm trying to add more subtle ways of him being trans without it being like, oh, he's trans and then it just, it just never comes up. Like I want this to be an, a, a very important part of the story and just adding small details like this, I hope gets that point across. Of course, I could be like making it worse, so who knows. This is his uh, hot weather wear. Just a nice, relaxing, like casual thing that you would probably wear on like a hot summer day. And I'm from the deep south. And uh, if you don't know, summers are really awful here, like to the point of where uh, you can cook an egg on the side of the road. Pretty tough, pretty rough. Um, so I would never wear this in a summer heat, but I think the Sims game is more away from the South, at least it seems more like away from the Southern America culture that it kind of gives off. We're wearing jeans and a flannel and sneakers would be good and not a flip flops, short shorts and tank tops and maybe you won't die. And then here is his outerwear, just like a nice little jacket combo with some white pants and his everyday shoes. I don't know why, but I like having the same shoes in multiple outfits because I feel like people in real life, you know, don't just have one shoe to wear for their, like, you know, street wear and then they never wear for, you know, for snowing or anything. I just feel like normal people don't do that. And I like just have, like, a touch of realism because nothing in The Sims 4 is realistic. So that is Niles Clausen's outfits. Um, Niles Clausen's backstory that I have so far is that he has been in foster care since he was two years old. He does not remember his mother, but he remembers that she was a very young mother. He remembers uh, living in a very dirty environment, and he was uh, raised in the system, which was um, emotionally draining, uh, oftentimes physically abusive. He uh, learned very quick that he was not going to be able to have the privilege that he saw children have on TV. When he did turn 19, he was adopted by this very loving uh, elderly couple that he thought that he honestly would have unconditional love to, and he um, always knew that he was different, and he always knew that he wasn't really um, a girl like the other girls. And he was dubbed a tomboy all of his life. And oh, you know, she's so sporty. But he didn't really feel like a she. And when he turned, when he was with them, when he was 19, he kind of came out after really learning what, you know, trans 
Jinder was, you know, he cried for like an hour after he found out, you know, he was normal, this was a normal thing people felt, and when he came out to them, they, um, kicked him out, they, he learned that day their love was very conditional, and he needed to follow society's, uh, expectations of him to be loved by those people and to be loved by many people he was homeless for a very long time and he recently only now just got a job and he has a very terrible apartment and he is very bitter and he's resentful and he is just wanting to bring out pain in the way that he was given pain he wants to take he wants to put pain out in the world that he was given from the world and he should probably go to copious amounts of therapy but you know he won't because sleeping with men and killing men and going to multiple therapy sessions where you have to learn your flaws and treat your trauma Uh, that's difficult killing men is easy so we can go to his um attributes he is a romantic simp he's very flirty he's a very lonely person um and he finds validation with relationships but of course he has a frankenstein idea of what he wants man to be from watching copious amounts of media making this like i said uh, Frankenstein sort of man that he wants to make something perfect and valuable but kind of takes out all the flaws so you know an, a man's a man or a woman is never gonna live up to his expectations we also have materialistic he is very materialistic he does not want to live in a grungy old apartment he wants to live in a nice good place he feels like he's deserved it he has a sense of entitlement after the pain he's went through living in foster homes and then living out on the streets he feels like he deserves something nice and that he suffered if his traumas for nothing then he then he was he suffered for nothing and he wants to turn his trauma into living in the lap of luxury He's also self-absorbed in a way of he can't let people in and he finds it very difficult to feel empathetic towards others. So he just kind of becomes narcissistic in a way. He just, um, it's very hard to care for others when no one's really cared for you. And his, um... Fish is a mansion barn. He wants to live in a nice big house that he owns or either controls the person that owns it. And he wants to live a life that he has fantasized about since he was very, very young. Um, so this episode was just to explain the character and to show him off. Uh, next episode, we'll be getting into his life at the moment, trying to find him someone, and of course, I'm uh, making money, because he uh, does not have a lot of money to his name. Thank you for watching.